a project to search for asteroids was assigned to us in our astrophysics class. Observations were made using the half-meter Baker Nun Telescope of the Rothney Astrophysical Observatory. After many hours sifting through data from February 20, 2020, we saw faint pixels of light moving across the field. What information could we gather from the faint pixels of light? The software Meyer Pro 64 was used to analyze the stacks of images. The 4.4 by 4.4 square degrees field of view near the ecliptic allowed to increase the probability of finding main belt asteroids. With the dark and bias corrected aligned images, moving objects were spotted by manually sifting through the frames. Inconveniently, there were hot pixels and other artifacts that squiggled across the frames. Two objects were spotted here, moving east to west. This is retrograde motion. While celestial bodies like Mars normally move west to east, this apparent retrograde motion is a matter of perspective. Simply put, when Earth sweeps nearest to an object, the apparent motion in the sky reverses. This leads to the assumption that the Earth is approaching nearest distance with respect to the two objects. As the optical through output and sensitivity of the CCD camera mimic the bandpass of an astronomical R filter, the analysis was done in the R bandpass. Three prominent stars were set as standard for absolute photometric calibration using the star Vega as the zeroth magnitude star. The standard R magnitudes of the potential asteroids were obtained using the software. The average flux was calculated. The solar constant in the R filter was estimated as the shaded rectangular area whose width was the band pass of the filter. The sun emitted light, which was then partially reflected by the asteroid based on its albedo and the shape of the face being illuminated. From Earth, the flux received from the asteroid is then used to calculate its physical size. A light curve is the change in apparent brightness of an object over time. As the asteroids are reflecting sunlight, rotation, irregular shape, or composition can cause the magnitude to change. Seven stars of similar apparent magnitude were chosen in the whole stack to determine the average relative change in magnitude of the potential asteroids. Both of the potential asteroids were moving with the following proper motion over the span of 75.5 minutes. With the assumption that Earth was passing by the two asteroids at its nearest distance, and that the average distance of the middle asteroid belt from the Sun was 2.7 astronomical units, the distance between Earth and the potential asteroids at the time of the observation was 1.7 astronomical units. The standard magnitudes and the average flux for each asteroid were as follows. As you can see, asteroid 2 appeared brighter. Albedo is the proportion of incident light that is reflected by our surface. Three sample albedo values corresponding to three common asteroid types were used to calculate the asteroid sizes. Carbonaceous type asteroids are made of darker materials. They tend to be less reflective. Metallic asteroids are composed of a mixture of several metals. Siliceous asteroids are stony. We went with a higher albedo for SR class asteroid. M and S type tend to be more reflective. Possible radii of the potential asteroids were as follows. Over the span of 75.5 minutes, the light curve of asteroid 1 went from bright to dim to bright. This suggests that the surface reflecting sunlight could be of an irregular shape or have a varied composition with varied albedo. Asteroid 2's light curve was less conclusive, suggesting that the shape would be more spherical or a uniform surface. However, to gather more accurate values of the physical properties or whether the light pixels were asteroids, more observation time would be needed for data analysis. Using the data provided from the RAO, we were able to spot two potential asteroids and examine their characteristics through performing absolute photometry on their pixels. The observations had implications for the usage of wide field telescopes and appropriate data analysis in studying the characteristics and trajectories of asteroids both near and far.